Welcome to Morning with Mai. I'm Mai. Have you ever wondered when you pray, if your prayers ever kind of reach up to the ceiling and kind of hover and stay there and never got up to God? Or if you've ever wondered what to pray, where to pray, when to pray, and why even pray, you've come to the right place. I will answer these questions and share with you my daily prayer habit. If you like what you've heard so far, please give this a thumbs up, a like, and be sure to subscribe and click the bell notification so you'll be among the first to know when I release a new video to share even more ideas with you. On Sunday, what do I pray for on Sunday? On Sunday, I call it the CC Sunday. On Sunday, I pray for the churches and my companies and Eric's company and my family's companies. So it's churches and companies. Now, why do I pray for churches and companies on Sunday? Because Sunday I go to church and that helped me to remember, pray for churches on Sunday. And that's just right before we go back to work on Monday. So pray for companies, the ones that we work at. Now for the churches, I pray for the pastor, their family, the staff and their family, I pray that God will allow more people to come to the churches. I pray for the churches that Eric and I go to, our family and friends go to, and the ones that we've gone to in the past. Whatever that is in terms of the churches that we are a part of or we got to visit, I pray that God will allow those churches to grow and expand and bring more people in so they can listen to the Word of God and get to know God better. I pray that those churches will be able to receive much contribution, whether it's in time or money, that they're able to turn around and go on mission trips and take that money and the resources and the volunteers to go and be a blessing to other countries where they do not have the resources the way that we have in the, here in the United States. And I also, I pray that the churches will be a place where people want to visit and want to spend time to build community. And I pray for these churches that God will grow them, bless them, and multiply the effort of the volunteers. And also, I pray for the people that attend those churches that they get to grow and know more about God and also to build community, a place where they can safely take their family, their children to and interact with in a safe environment. And I also pray for the companies that Eric and I work at, our families work at, our friends work at. Why do I pray for them? Because that is very important. The companies, when they do well, and prosper, we as employees will also do well and prosper. So I pray that God will allow the companies that we work for, that Eric and I work for, our family and friends work for, that they will get new contracts, new customers, that they will find new ways to cut costs and have a big, big profit at the bottom line. So that way everyone will be able to participate or partake in a profitable company. I pray that as we go to work on Monday, that the companies that we work for would be a place where people can communicate with one another, where interdepartmental people work well together, come up with new ideas, be able to execute, and be able to perform at the highest possible level, excellent performance, excellent profit, and that's what I pray for, for the companies that Eric and I and my family and friends work for. I hope that you really enjoy listening to the daily prayer and that you find helpful for you as you interact and spend time with God each day. I hope that you will take the time to like this video, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and also go in the comments below and tell me what you pray for, how often you pray, where do you pray, and what do you pray about. Share with me the things that are important in your heart, and so I can read your comments and add your needs in my daily prayers. And thank you friends for listening to my video and spending this time with me, and in 
return, I say to you, have a healthy, happy, productive, successful, and fun day. Now go take on the day.